Hey, I'm on my truck and I'm getting hyped up for tomorrow night. Church in the Hood Zoom Room. You got to be there. Please, direct mail, inbox, whatever you got to do, get me your email so I can send you the VIP because you are a very important person. Access link. That's right. Access Zoom link. Send me your email. Okay. Very important. All right. And, um, we're going we, we're gonna to get spiritually high tomorrow night. I'm telling you. I mean, that's what God is. God, to me, is a my spiritual get high every day on the road. All right? Spiritual get high is something that I need. I think that more, more of us need in our lives. And I'm going to try to bring it to you. Okay? As somebody who's been clean from drugs and alcohol, I can use that scenario, y'all. Okay? I've been clean since 1985. That's a high. Okay? <laughs> and I've been high in the spirit since 1985 and I don't plan on coming down. Come on now, join me in the Church in the Hood Zoom room because when I used to indulge in in um substance abuse, I had a lot of buddies that would be willing to keep me high. Now I am looking for folk who want to who want to help encourage and support each other in a natural high, a spiritual high, a positive vibe. Come on now. All right. So join me because I'm going to tell you what, everything that we got to deal with on the outside of us has everything to do with what's going on on the inside of us. And God has given me a unique, a unique anointed and ordained gift to really tap into the inside of, of people as God has tapped into the inside of me. So I'm only sharing the God in me with the God in you and hoping that we can make a connection for you. Amen. Because what I got, the world didn't give it to me and they can't take it away. But what is it, you know, to keep it to yourself and not share it with people? So I can do that. I can do that on my truck. I can do that in person. I can do that wherever I am and so can you. Let's talk about it. Let's get, let's, let's get this, spiritual, this spiritual high and, and create some spiritual get high. I want to create some spiritual get high buddies that I can roll with on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a family basis, on a artist basis. If you rap, if you do poetry, I need you to bring your poetry and bring your rap. Okay. And share, you know, if you have something you want to say, all right, that is going to give life to somebody, bring that. Come on into the Church in the Hood Zoom room this, this Thursday, excuse me, this Thursday, 7 p.m. All right. Send me your email so I can get you the Zoom, the um, VIP Zoom link. OK. All right. I love you. And we got work to do. OK. But from the inside out, this work needs to be done from the inside out. All right. There's a lot we can accomplish. There's a lot we can fix. All right. And there's a lot that we can help for people not to feel alone, be alone or young people to feel like their life is going to be over before they're 25, come on, people, we got to change that scenario. We need folks to be dreaming again, like really dreaming some good stuff, um, and especially our young people, all right? God has given us everything. The question is, what are we doing with it and how are we using it to help ourselves and help others be better, live better, feel better, enjoy life more abundantly, enjoy life more abundantly, you feel me? All right, we can do this. I'm telling you, we're going to kick this off in the Church in the Hood Zoom room. And then we're going to make a point of connecting with people around the country. All right. Through the Presbyterian Church, through the Unity Fellowship Church movement, through Church in the Hood. There's nothing we can't do, people. There's nothing we can't do. If we, if I, if you respect me and I respect you. All right. I'm not, I don't, I'm not here to convert anybody. All right. You know, Christ is my, my, my elder brother, you know, and, and the Bible has the, has the principles, the spiritual principles for my life. But it is not saying that, you know, God doesn't use another highway, another spiritual inter, interstate highway to get to somebody else. So everybody is welcome, you know, just come in love, come in peace and let's see what we can get done. All right, because I have I, I I have love for my my Muslim brothers, my my Buddhist brothers, my 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 um, uh, uh, Jewish brothers and sisters. I mean, you know what? If you bleed red blood, you are my brother and my sister in the human race, in the human family. That's where I'm coming from. Amen. We all have different um, perspectives as perspectives that we come from because of our purpose 
or because of what is the rock of our personal salvation. But we are still human beings and we are all God's kids. All right. So let's come together. Young people, bring your voices to the table. I want to hear from you. Young at heart, bring your your voices, your resources, your resources, and let's do this, all right? We're going to be casting the net large and wide, all right, to bring people together that wouldn't normally come together, and it's going to happen in the Church in the Hood Zoom room. Meet me there. Thursday night, 7 p.m., send me your email. Let me get you the VIP access link for the Zoom, okay? All right, love you. Peace. <laughs>